the most common question that I get from most subscribers and most viewers who do watch my videos is how do I join NWRP roleplay session so guys today in this video I'll be explaining to you guys how to join step by step NWRP the roleplay session not how to join the server the discord server but I'm going to be showing you how to join our server how do you get invited to the server how do you get in our sessions and everything like that so guys hope you guys do enjoy this video if you guys do please make sure that you guys do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you are new roll to 200 subscribers i hope you guys do enjoy like i said before legendary king is out going to show you guys this video peace out what i'm about to show you guys is how to join nwrp sessions okay so as you guys can see on the screen, load up GTA 5 first on your PS4 or Xbox. Okay, that's what you want to do. Um, once you do load it up, it's going to bring you to the, you know, um, the information screen, what it tells you about GTA 5, and then it's going to bring you to the, um, the please do not quit the game or quit or turn off your system screen. Um, and that is what it's going to say. So once it say that, what you want to do is you want to click on story mode, loading story mode, um, not online or not the two time GTA 5 RP or anything like that. You do, just want to load in story mode and then wait once it fully load in. And I'm going to be right back to you once I tell you after that. Alrighty guys, so once we do load into story mode and we have our character GTA, uh, our GTA 5 character um, story mode, what you want to do is wait for an invite to be sent. So when you're in the server, you're going to be waiting for the invite. You're going to be here. You're going to be, you know, um, just just add the host, uh, the PlayStation host, whoever's going to make the RP, and just join the invite, and they will be sending invites out. So I'm currently making an um, online session just because there's no sessions going on. But yeah, you would and you would add the host, the person who is hosting um, the RP session and you will join their public party once you join that public party you're sending out invites um through the party and you will accept that and it will you'll be joining gta5 um online and then once we do load in i'm gonna be right back all right guys so we have loaded into gta5 online now and so once we do load into online you are going to be spawning um in vinewood or wherever your last location um was set for and you're going to be loading in and once you do load in your character is going to be doing something probably outside the house probably laying down in bed probably in the shower like my character is right now or doing something so um what you're going to do uh you will have you will have to put on your uniform actually yeah you will have to put on your uniform um and we'll get more deep into that but um yeah so let's say you don't have your uniform on nothing like that da, 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 all right so what you're going to do go outside your house um you know, go outside your house or put your uniform on um, inside the house it, because all of the uniform, LEO um, uniform is also in the uh, PS4 main server, the Fire EMS uniform and the Spin uh, or and, you know, any of the department, the uniform is um, in the um, main server. So, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to put on your uniform, my uniform, let's say I'm a SHP, I, I have my SHP uniform on, let's say I'm a civilian, I can put any one of my civilian outfit on. Um, let's say that I am a um, firefighter, um, let's say I'm put on my firefighter outfit, and let's say I'm fire EMS, I'm going to put on that outfit, alright. So we're just going to stick with Commissioner, um, uh, San Andreas High Patrol, and then what you want to do is you want to call 911, that is how you get your cop vehicle. Alright, let's say I'm uh, today I'm going to be cop, so I'm going to call the cops. So what you're going to do is call whatever department um, you are with. So let's say I'm, um, I'm police. I'm going to call the police and get my car. Let's say I'm fire and uh, let's say I'm fire EMS. I'll call the fire department and watch how I do this. So basically, I'm going to hear the um, the sirens of the cop. I mean, yeah, of the cop car. I'm going to run towards the. Um, I'm sorry, there's no sound. It's just me talking. But um, yeah, um, I'm going to run towards the direction of I hear the sirens. Lester's calling me, so let me decline him. I'm going to run towards the um, part where I hear the sirens. I'm going to go over there. Um, and then once I do go over there, you see the cop car within feet. What you're going to do is you can possibly aim at him. Um, you can either aim at him, you can just shoot him in the head because you're going to have to fix it anyway. Um, because the cops are so stupid that they're going to shoot their window. Watch this. Boom, he shot his window, and that's going to make a fix anyway. So if you want to, you can aim for the heads, whatever you want to do. But you can just shoot randomly, just shoot at him, and then boom, and then take the cop car. 
So, what I did was I went over there, okay? I called Lester. That's everything that you want to do. Once you kill the cops and take their car, you want to call Lester off you. Um, once you do call Lester, Lester's going to get the cops off you and remove your one level. So, you did that. Good job. So, what you're going to do is you're going to go to one of those blue things on the map which are missions okay you're gonna go to one of them um and you're gonna that is how you fix your cop vehicle all right so you're gonna go to this mission i'm pulling into this mission right here i'm gonna go to this and i'm going to um fix up my cop vehicle so what you want to do while fixing up your cop vehicle pull into the mission um once you pull into the mission what you're going to do is you're going to um you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna start get out your vehicle make sure that your vehicle is parked all the way inside you're gonna get out your vehicle um, and then once you get out your vehicle what you're gonna do after that is you're going to start the mission once the mission does start you're gonna exit back out of the mission and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna run um, run away from the vehicle because you saw the vehicle was despawned you're gonna run away from the vehicle um, for like seven to fi uh, seven to ten seconds and then come back and the cop car will be totally fixed as you can see here on the screen everything is nice and neat and everything like that now guys we're gonna go do is going to rush towards alp i'm a cop so i'm gonna go code 3 alp so all people can get on my way quickly as possible and everything like that um i'm gonna quickly go to the alp so i will not be late for role play um, I'm going to take this route because this route is very quicker instead of going straight up over there while we're just heading straight towards. Um, but yeah, we're going to keep going to AOP and then I'm going to talk to you guys and tell you guys what to do next once we get a little bit closer to the AOP. Once we are in AOP or a little bit close, so we are on... Um, so no freeway. We're gonna do pull over to the side of the road. Go to our settings. Go down to display, and then go to radar and make sure the radar is off. Keep the hood on so you can see your location. Then you're gonna go down to options. Go to online, then options. Then you're gonna go down to play overhead display, as you guys can see, and make sure it's on none. Not name, not name and crew, not marker only, but none. All right. Once you guys do do that, then what you're gonna do is continue, um, continue down that route, and then once you do. Um, past that that plate that part where you um you know cross up like we're gonna continue down here and then once we you know hit you know um a little bit uh, closer then we're gonna start following the law because we are we're gonna be officially in AOP okay so once you are in AOP um, all members you must follow the law and you must be realistic the entire time while in AOP see I just hit I just hit something. Somebody just hit me, but don't let's 22 that. We just hit AOP. AOP is right here in 321, back of the boom. We are in AOP now. So now, at this moment in time, you should see me start to slow down my vehicle and start to follow each and every traffic law that does come upon. So, as you guys can see, I stopped at the stop sign. I look left, look right. Um, I look, I look right first though. But um, anyway, you're gonna you're gonna follow each and every. Uh, I see that big old semi truck. We're gonna semi truck. Uh, we're gonna continue. We're gonna follow the speed limit. In LP, you must always be realistic as possible. Let's say I'm an officer. Um, I am an officer. All officers must head to the um, sheriff station, BCSO sheriff station, for patrol briefing. P patrol briefing will he be held by the highest ranking officer who is on duty at that moment and at that time. So yeah. Um, every person who is a part of a department, you must do patrol briefing once patrol briefing is over, then you can leave. The same thing must happen with the firefighters, all firefighters get their fire trucks. The fire trucks will normally be, um, um, you know, in a, in a line over there, but it's not, so, yeah. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that you do, um, have on your gear and then patrol briefing will be, uh, completed. And lastly, Fire EMS. Fire EMS also does patrol briefings in their firefighter car. Uh, I mean, uh, their um, EMS trucks are current located over there. But we don't have any EMS trucks for the sake of this video. Um, and yeah, guys. So basically, those are how most of our session goes. Um, and yep. Alright, guys. I hope I answered all of you guys' questions. How to join step by step um, the session. So guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and if this video did help very much, um, please make sure this guy do leave a like, subscribe to the channel, um, it will really help a lot, um, and yeah, more to the subscribers, I love you guys, video is coming soon, Legendary King is out, we coming back with bangers after bangers after 
playing because my love and our king is out. Peace out. Love you, brothers and sisters.